Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to use Book Creator. I have provided you a link either in your classroom or through email, how to use Book Creator. You don't need to download an app, it's web-based, so that just means that you go to the website, you put your code in. I'm not going to show you the code because it recommends not showing the code on social media and where this is gonna be uploaded to YouTube. I don't want to, but you also been provided the code to enter um, Book Creator. So I'm gonna show you uh, just the fast way to create a new book. So I made one here earlier, but I'm gonna make a new book. So when I press new book, I'm gonna go and you're gonna choose a shape. Don't worry about the comics down here. We're not doing comics right now. I'm just gonna pick portrait, standard book. And then I'm gonna go up to my cross up here and I'm gonna add an item. And when you see that, you'll see that there'll be a text box that comes down. I'm gonna use import, because I'm gonna import a picture for my book. And um, I'm gonna make this book about uh, pets. So I might pick dogs, so dogs. And you'll see that Google pops up. You just press on Google, and it's gonna come up with all kinds of images. And you're gonna pick an image Oh, let's see. Oh, I like this cute little puppy. Let's put this little cute puppy on here. So um, now it has the puppy. Now on a cover of a book, we need a title and we need the author's name, which is you. So I'm going to press text. You'll see two T's, a little T and a big T. I press it on and that will come another box. It will, uh, you can either record or you can um, type. Oh, there's my dog. So I'm gonna type, just ignore my dog. <laughs> Sorry about that. And see how it's typing everything I say? So you have to be careful. So I'm gonna just stop it. I'm gonna cancel it. I'm going to put it on again. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna go back to text. And I'm going to say, all about dogs. Now, notice that it punctuated it. It automatically put a period, but we don't have periods in titles. And we do have some capitals. So our subject is dogs. We always capitalize. And the, front, um, the first word in our title is capitalized. So the A and all. So now I'm done. And now I need, I'm just missing one piece. And that will be about... Um, my name. So I'm going to go down to text again. And instead of recording, I'm just going to put by and see how I capitalize the B and by, by Mrs. Kent. And I capitalize my name because the first letter of every name, my, my name, because it's a proper name. So I press done. Now notice how it went over the other one. So what I can do here is I can um, if you see this cross with these arrows in either direction, I can click it on, hold it down, and drag it down. So when I hold it and drag it down, it moves it anywhere I want. And I could do the same here. I can go up here and I can move it around. And if I click on the picture and I do the corner, see how the corner and see how I have an arrow, I can move it around. But if I click in the corner, I can make it smaller or larger, I wanna keep it the same. Let's say I wanna make my title a little bit bigger, I or really doesn't. I can go in and I can highlight it and I can bold it and I can underline it too. You just play around with it, done. See how it changed it? Now, I'm just gonna move it over. This one on here, don't touch this. This will move it around. See how it does that? We don't want to do that. So that's what that tool is for. And I'm going to move this around. So it's not perfect. doesn't have to be perfect, but it contains the three things I'm looking for. A picture of the topic, all about dogs, the title, and my, the author's name. When I want to work on the second page, I just open, I see how I have arrows that go back. So if I go back, I go back to the title, the cover of the book, and if I open it up, then I can start working on the pages. So 
Um, that's when I can put other pictures, I can put text in. So right now I'm looking for covers of books. Thank you. And I hope this was helpful.